In this movie, we're going to use the AND and the OR clause together. Using the report we've been using from the prior movies, let's click on the Select Expert, show our formula, and go straight to the formula editor. This is our existing condition in an OR format. I'm going to go ahead and erase the second condition as well as the OR clause. And from here, I'm going to put AND, scroll up, pull in revenue amount, either drag and drop or double click up to you. I'm going to make revenue amount greater than or equal to 200. And I'm going to put a parenthesis here and a parenthesis at the beginning corresponding. Right after that I'm going to type in OR. Then I'm going to copy this statement and paste it right below. From the top one I want to erase Louisiana but I'll leave the revenue amount the same. And from the bottom I'm going to erase Northern California. And now I have a compound and or clause. Notice the location of the parentheses are very important. Much like algebra, it tells you what to evaluate together or first. In this case, we're looking for Northern California and revenue amounts greater than 200. And then or, we're looking for Louisiana with revenue amounts greater than 200. Let's save and close this. Press OK and refresh our data. We have Louisiana and Northern California. And if we did do our checks, we'd find no revenue amounts less than 200. Your statements can be as compound and complex as you like. For example, I can come back into my formula, go to my formula editor, and I can add an additional clause here. I'm going to put an in parenthesis around the very end and put another one at the front so they correspond. So that's our very first condition. And in this case, I'm going to choose office name equals Tokyo. Now if I check it, it will check the syntax for me and tell me if I've made a mistake. And then I'm going to save and close. Press OK, refresh the data, and now I have Tokyo. It's final or clause. Pull everything from Tokyo regardless of the amount. Now if I go in and I choose, instead of or at the Tokyo, and I choose and, Krista will check it for me. Syntax looks good. I will save and close. Press OK. I will refresh the data. Notice now my report is blank. When combining OR and AND clauses, you really need to understand what they're doing. In this case, in addition to being in California or Louisiana, it also had to be in Tokyo, which is physically impossible. And then since we're not in a physics course and talking about the potential multiverses out there where this could be a true statement, in our world, that would return a null set. Chris was doing exactly what was asked for, and it can find no cases or data that matches all of those conditions laid forth. The good thing about Crystal being a Windows-based product is you can hold down the control and press Z and refresh the data. This returns the select clause back to its original state. You'll have to play around with this a little bit, but once you get it, you'll get the hang of it, and you can make it as complex a condition as you like. Using the AND and OR together kind of helps you get around the AND and Using the AND with the OR also keeps the OR in check, so it's not pulling everything under the sun. 